Hello all, I hope you are doing good. So in this video, we are going to see how to update the related records using the flow. So for this, I'm going to take this as a scenario. So whenever the account phone number is getting updated to a different number, so we need to update all the related contacts with the same account phone number. So this is my requirement. Let's see how we can do this through the flow. Alright, I am in my flow screen. I am creating a new flow. So I am choosing this record trigger flow. Next, choosing the free form. Okay, so we have to choose our object, right? So, yeah, first let's check the condition. So I am I need to trigger this when the record is created or updated and yeah after the record is saved this is fine and let's choose the object as account uh, let's see So my condition is phone number is changed equals true. So whenever phone number changes, it has to execute. Okay. And then after our condition, we have to get the related contacts. Let's try this. Related contacts. Object contact and yep, the account ID should be matched with our account ID. And we need all the records since there might be a hundred different contacts for the same account right so we need all the records and let it be i'm fine with this setting and then since we we, we would have multiple contacts we have to use loop element collection variable from our get record and first item to last item yeah this is done so after this loop we have to add assignment element let's say assign contact and the variable would be from this loop, we have to get the phone number field that equals our record account phone. So that's it. Yep. We have to choose for each item in the collection and after this i'm going to create another assignment element so this is to uh, store all the collected all the variables that we got from that loop to a collection so let's see and contacts I'm going to create a new resource for this. It's a variable with contacts. So update. Data type is record and we have to enable this since it is a collection variable. 
and just contact and choose both available for input and output so yeah contacts to update and i'm choosing this add operator and choose this loop that's it great so connect everything finally we have to do this update record let's see update contact and choose this option since we used uh, collection and select the collection variable that we have created so in this variable only um, the loop is storing all the contact records right so we have to choose this one uh, that's it let's see the moment of truth it and I'm gonna activate it okay so let's go to app go to the accounts and let's see okay let me do one thing I'm creating another account. So yeah, another contact. So we have uh, three contacts in this account let's see if i am so our requirement is if i'm updating this phone number the same no, phone number should be should get updated in these contacts right let's check let's see i have given a phone number save great it's getting updated so uh, if you see let me same number as here let's do this let's delete this number and save it so the phone number got deleted so all right that's all i wanted to uh, show you in this video so we are just creating this flow and uh, we are using this condition like the phone number is changed equal to true so only if this condition matches this flow will get executed and in this element we are getting the records like all the related contacts from the account and we are using loop to fetch all the related contacts and assigning to the uh, the account phone number was updated so the loop will fetch all the related contacts and it will update uh, it will assign uh, the value of the new phone number to the uh, related contacts from the loop that we are getting so that is being stored in the collection variable and i'm just simply using the update record element to update the collection variable that's it so yep let me know if you have any questions or doubts uh, i'll try to explain Thanks. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye-bye.